Hello everyone and welcome back to the second update video from the Hermit Life server. A lot has happened between update videos, but I wish I had more time to do even more. Anyway, I will show you guys around what I have been doing the past three weeks. As you can see, I'm at my industrial district. And these chests are still a mess with all the junk that I still need to sort. As you can see in the shulker boxes over here, I've been gathering some logs already and these are for the wood shop, which I still need to build, but I have taken down the old shop already. So the only thing left to do is to get enough stock and build a new shop, but I will probably do that like in a week as well, since I'm quite busy at the moment. Anyway, um, as you can see up there. I started to make some farms over here but I will be adding more and more farms over the se season but for now I'll just have three over here but I want to have like all the farms possible in here well not all the farms but as many farms as I can think of and it is getting night so I'm going to sleep real fast Now I can show you the farms I've made. I've made the first farm I've made is a wool farm. It isn't like the best design, but I don't need the best design. It's for, for being producing enough wool. Uh, I mainly needed this for um, spawn proofing and for other farms, so I can carp double carpet it. And then over here. <laughs> I've made a neck farm. Don't ask me why, I just want all the farms. So, this I've just been producing a, a few eggs. And over here, I've made some um, wood farms. Um, I know I can make a automatic wood farm, but I don't really need that because I'm. I've said to myself that I only will chop wood manually this season then over here we have another farm this isn't an automatic farm i need to send here myself but this is like a vessel generator basically stand on here and you just mine and that's how you just get basalt these are all the farms i've made in my industrial district for now but i've made some a few more but those are not located in the overworld so i'll show you them in a minute anyway let's continue this way this is something i forgot to mention in my last update video a member of the server called google uh, came to live next to me uh, this is his base and i think it's kind of cool it just started so it's not too big but he has like a nice farm over there and sheep pen i guess and he has like a little farmer's house and I really like what he's done here. This is his mine. Um, and I think he did a pretty good job on this. Floating gravel block. Anyway, um, now let's go to my base. I've just started it today, so it isn't anything big yet. But it will be something bigger. So as you can see, <laughs> the only thing you can see has changed is there is a portal there now. As you can see, I wanted to put it in the wall so it doesn't really change just the wall um, aesthetic feel of this. But as you go through it, I've made it like a nether hallway, I guess. And this will turn out to the main hallway, which will continue to my storage and stuff. So this is where I'm at, but I'm going to work on it very soon. So let's go to the nether now and see what has happened over there. As you can see, um, I started a little nether hub slash base here together with Google. And one of the things we want to build into this nether base slash hub is a piglin trading slash parting farm. Um, but for that we would need a lot of gold. 
which meant we needed to make a big gold farm. But for that, we would need a lot of magma blocks, and since I love to make farms and I was too lazy to mine magma blocks this time, I made a magma farm. And as you can see, magma uh, slimes are the only thing spawning in here. Um, this is because we are above the Basel Delta and in the Basel Delta only gas and um, magma blocks spawn, so, uh, magma slimes spawn. And you can see those blocks right there. Those prevent gas from spawning. So that's why the only thing they're spawning are magma slimes. And as you can see, I've been gathering a lot. Well, I've AFK'd for a few hours and I've already got like four double chests full of magma blocks. Um, magma cream, sorry. And in order to make this farm, I had to get my hands on some wither roses. As you can see, I needed that for the killing chamber over here. So I've made a wither rose farm. And Impossible Gaming gave me enough wither heads to make uh, the farm work. So without him, this farm would have been impossible to make. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. For serious. As you can see, it hasn't produced that much since everything we have K we take, but we needed a wither to make it work. Since the wither needs to kill a mob to, to get a with a rose from it. Anyway, we are back in the nether where I've continued the nether hub once again until I ran out of blackstone once again. That is one reason why I want to build the pigling bartering farm. So I've made it until like right here and then I ran out of stuff. But I'm slowly getting there, I'm slowly getting there. I think it is finally time to go to the shopping district once again. Because I don't know if you have noticed, but I can wear my helmet again. This is because I've won a mini game called Capture the Cookie. If you don't know what this mini game is or was, uh, make sure to check my previous update video for a brief explanation. So here we are at the shopping district once again, and we can finally claim the prize since I'm the only one uncookified left. Um, still thank you all for participating and I really enjoyed this um, mini game. I hope to see more of these mini games soon in the shopping district or somewhere else. Let's see how much we've got and let's do it in, a, in an old fashioned time lapse. Alright, so I've got everything in my inventory and let's see how much we've got. We've got exactly one stack of diamond blocks. This is a lot and I'm very happy with it. Then we have three shulker boxes, which I will put down to see what's in it. So we have a lot of golden carrots and some cooked pork chops. Ooh, block of a, st a stack of block of emeralds and a shop box full of totem of diamonds. This will come in handy as well. So that's good. Then we've got an elytra, a spare elytra. That's good. I've been doing the wall season with one elytra, <laughs> so it's good to have a spare elytra, especially if you die in a place where you need help from somewhere else to get your stuff back. But yeah, and. We've got two blocks of netherites. Now I am going to need this because I will need 27 netherite ingots total for a project coming up. But I will only do that project 
if I reach 100 subscribers. And I'm not going to tell you that much, but I'm going to tell you it has to do something with the number million. A million, yes, a million. And it isn't a small project, it is a pretty big project. And it's a project that is already started, but I didn't really continue it and I really want to finish it. So it is going to take a lot of time. I know that. But yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty big project. So I will only do that if we reach 100 subscribers. And of course it needs to be in this season, of course, because otherwise I won't um, be able to do it. <laughs> Or I need to do it next season, but I don't think I will do it then. So, I think that has to do it for today, guys. Um, next episode will be a spooky episode, since Halloween is coming up. So, I will be doing something with this, what you see in the sky. And hopefully I can start a bit more on my base and build the woodshop. But yeah i think that is it for today guys um thanks for sticking to the end of the video if you made it, it this far comments i am hyped for the 100 subscriber special and if you enjoyed the video which i am sure you did otherwise you wouldn't stick to the end please give a thumbs up under this video and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>